If you've ever wished you could write a full blog post in seconds, with images, formatting, and your brand style baked right in, Canva just made your dreams come true. Kind of. As someone who loves using AI tools to write ranking blog content, today I'm giving you a review of Canva's brand new AI Docs tool update, now officially rolled out for all pro users and showing you how it compares to writing a blog post using ChatGPT. Let's just say there's some magic in this new tool, but also some moments that we need to talk about. So here's what we'll cover today. I'll walk you through creating a blog post using Canva's new 2025 Canva Create Tools. And then we'll compare that with what ChatGPT can do. I'll give you my honest opinions on when and why you'd want to use either one. And we'll design a quick blog post about self-care for new moms so you can see the tool in action with a real topic. If you haven't watched my video on using ChatGPT to write high-ranking, natural-sounding blog posts, I'll link that in the description below, because that strategy still wins when you want high-quality, in-depth content. But I'll share with you why Canva's tool might win in some cases. Let's get into it. First, I opened up Canva's new AI tools and went straight to the Docs option and used one of their suggested prompts that's already in the system. The prompt that I chose here was write a blog post about sustainable fashion trends. And yes, in seconds, it spit out a full post, title, subheadings, intro, and all. But here's the catch you can't create an outline of the content ahead of time, and you can't easily tweak the structure of the blog once the first draft is created. And then while you can ask it to rewrite specific sections, it seems to have trouble following more nuanced directions. It's kind of a one-shot stab at the base result, and then the blog is written all at once, and the design is sort of up to the system to choose what it looks like. You can, of course, go back in and make all of the edits, make the design look exactly how you want it to, but I'd have to go into a lot of manual editing to get the exact result that I wanted. Okay, so now I tried a different approach. I tried again with a much more detailed prompt. I like my blog posts to be longer, especially for discoverability and content. So I wanted to see what would happen if I gave it a minimum word count to write against. Clearer directions around my topic, audience, and content, and I gave it a more specific tone to write to. So here's the prompt that I gave it write a 2000 word blog post about the importance of self-care for new moms. The post should include a great hook for the introduction. And then I gave it a bunch of details about what I wanted each section to include. Then I told it what tone of voice I wanted the post to be written in. Use a friendly conversational tone with a bit of witty humor. It definitely gave me more content this time, but not 2,000 words. It was exactly 1,850 words. And the tone was good, warm, supportive, and easy to read, but it still didn't have that sparkle that makes a blog post feel like you actually wrote it. And again, no outline. So I tried asking it to expand a specific section, but I got this weird column layout instead so there's no clear way to regenerate just one section the way that I wanted it, and no keyword help either. My conclusion with this attempt, it's kind of like a one-size-fits-all post. Great for speed, but maybe not so great for strategy. Next, I tried using Canva's brand voice tool 
to see if they had integrated that into the AI docs tool, I asked it to write a blog post using my saved brand voice from the brand hub. The result, not bad, but also not very me. I compared that to ChatGPT, which learns your tone the more you use it. Canva's version felt a little surface level. It got the general vibe, but didn't really capture the personality that makes a blog feel personal. If your brand voice is super important to you, which it probably should be, Canva still has a bit of catching up to do here. Watch my AI blogging done right video to learn how to capture brand voice the right way. Okay, but here is where Canva shines. After generating the blog, you can go in and add gorgeous images. Use Canva's AI image generator. I am definitely getting the most out of this incredible upgrade. Format everything beautifully, create a Pinterest optimized header, match your brand fonts, color, and design. So if you want a blog post that looks amazing fast, this tool totally delivers. It's super intuitive and you can design the full layout without ever leaving Canva. You do have to click into each image to resize it or tweak it, but once you do, you can edit your image just like any other design in Canva. Overall, the visual side of things, it's a huge win. So here's my honest take. Canva Create 2025 AI Docs is perfect if you need a fast, good-looking blog post that's 80% done and you'll polish some manually, but ChatGPT is still the go-to if you want something more in-depth, customized, and truly aligned with your brand voice and SEO goals. If I were creating a blog post to rank on Google or really connect with my audience, I'm choosing ChatGPT. If I need something done in two minutes to fill a content gap or post with some style, Canva gets the job done. So what did you think? Will you be using Canva's AI tools for blogging? Let me know in the comments, and if this video helped, give it a like and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I'll be diving deeper into Canva's new AI features and showing you how to use them for everything from content calendars with sheets to new marketing content hacks. Thanks for watching and happy creating. Bye.